So my name is Kimberly Matheson. I am a research fellow with the Willis Center at the Maxwell Institute, which means that I work on Book of Mormon primarily. Um, if there's an area that I especially love, it's the Book of Helaman. That's my baby, but really all of the Book of Mormon is my baby. And I read and I research on, on that topic. My journey to the Maxwell Institute, uh, well, I've been working here as a full-time research fellow for about a year, just a little over a year, but I've known about the Maxwell Institute for much longer than that. So I've been affiliated on a number of other projects, including mostly stuff through the Willis Center, because I do Book of Mormon. So a couple of years ago, I was on um, a round table to discuss the contemporary field of Book of Mormon studies, kind of take take stock of what it's accomplished. A couple years before that, I authored um, the brief theological introduction on the Book of Helaman that came out through the Maxwell Institute. I've participated in a number of seminars and conferences on Book of Mormon topics, um, but really I've just been an admirer of their publications and scholarship since they've existed. So a disciple scholar, this is that timeless phrase from Elder Maxwell, our namesake. And to me, I think the phrase expresses what Latter-day Saints have known to be true ever since the beginning of the Restoration, which is that the life of the mind and the life of faith are, they're not antagonistic, they're not enemies, they're in fact deeply compatible. And um, in fact, they're, they enrich each other. So um, discipleship can be consecrated to intellectual pursuits to make them um, deeper, richer, more meaningful, and intellectual pursuits can be consecrated to a life of discipleship to give it more rigor and more precision and deeper roots in the gospel. Um, and that's been the case in my own life. I think I'm a, a much better scholar because I'm motivated at my core by faith, and I think I'm a much better follower of Christ because I believe in thinking deeply. How did I become a disciple scholar? Um, I think I became a disciple scholar first through the example of my dad, actually. So my father, he had a bookshelf with all of the Hugh Nibley volumes on it, all kinds of publications from general authorities and leading intellectuals in the church. Um, and I, I remember loving that bookshelf and admiring that bookshelf and craving the day when I'd be old enough to read something from that bookshelf. That day for me came when I was 13 and I pulled down a book on the book of Revelation and I read it and I understood none of it, but I felt very accomplished. Um, but I always felt drawn to that bookshelf in part from the example of my dad because he clearly believed that there was value in thinking, pairing his scripture study with good scholarship. Um, I think that that drew me in and formed me pretty deeply. The advice I would give to people who want to deepen their own disciple scholarship. Um, I think it's twofold. First, in general, don't be scared of really any, any, any question. Don't be frightened about the ability of the gospel to hold up under intense um, intellectual investigation. In my experience, it always does. The gospel can hold up to anything. I have not found a question that um, that can't be answered or any line of intellectual pursuit that has shaken my testimony. Um, the gospel holds up under every bit of investigation and pressure every time. So lead out with faith, not fear. Um, you just stand to have your discipleship deepened. Um, and then the second would be, I guess, to read, to read books, to read widely. Um, I think <laughs> maybe this is too controversial a thing to say, uh, probably not, but I think our our contemporary culture, social media, um, kind of our soundbite culture is, a, is something like an acid bath on our attention spans. We're just losing our ability to ponder and to think slowly. So I would look for slower forms like books. So read widely, read deeply, read slowly. Um, it's been when I've engaged those slower forms that I've felt my soul grow especially. <laughs>